so let's try to understand terraform script and deploy the route 53 so uh, this is just code you can see uh, there are the two main files one is the instance.tf and second is the route53.tf so in instance we are creating the instance uh, where the uh, we have given the script for the user data where it's creating the uh, apache server and configure the basic setups and uh, we also assign the elastic ip to the instance for the static uh, public ip so this elastic ip will be attached to the instance and uh, this is the instance configuration and uh, let's see for the route 53 uh, route 53 we created the route 53 john and this is the easy aws dot in john and uh, is with this john we creating the a records and we have also passed the a record reference to the public ip so let's uh, run this script to the console so i'm just creating the terraform apply passing the confirmation so this will create the all resources required resources uh, using the john uh, records instance so our script got completed successfully so uh, you can see uh, it's created the john and record and here the as we define in the output the name server is defined over here so there are two things one is the public ip and second is the name server let's go to the console and uh, see the configuration for the route 53 so uh, i'm just refreshing the route 53 uh, dashboard over here so as present no configuration is there okay we have added one zone over here this is the hosted zone and uh, the zone having the record so easy aws dot in and this one should have the records uh, a record so you can see there's three records one is the ns soa and the a record so ns and soa will be created automatically a record we have added manually so a record is matched with the this ip so how it comes ip let's go to the ec2 console so at present no ec2 running so i'm just refreshing this uh, dashboard and you can see here there are ec2 is running and this is my public ip is 3.220.175.87 so this is the same ip which are redirect to the ec2 aws so let's open this uh, public ip before going forward so my apache server is well uh, established over here and we can open using the public ip but the our case is using the route 53 so we have to open the uh, domain name that's easy aws so i'm just going to the godaddy account in godaddy account you can go to the my domain and my domain you can go to the dns configuration so in dns configuration you have, by default the default name server will be configured and default name server will be the uh, godaddy is so we have to customize this one and using customer you have to pass the name server which are created uh, just before using the route to this so this is the name server i'm just copying over here So I copied all names or just updating over here. Okay, so my name server have been updated. That's a uh, NS1342. You can see here. Okay, so I have updated my name server in the GoDaddy account, and uh, rest is configuration is uh, properly in Route 53. So let's uh, open the easy AWS dot in. okay so uh, name server we have updated recently so it will take at least uh, three minutes to update the globally all uh, dns server so let's wait for some time 
okay so i right now i am able to open the dns uh, using uh, route 53 so let me refresh this uh, link so using the easy aws dot in i am able to uh, open the our http server which are uh, deployed in the instance and this host name is match uh, mapping with the uh, ip from the, using the route 53 service so this is all about how to configure route 53 uh, where to redirection and what kind of record we have to perform